the prevalent uh, symptom that people really expect with cancer is pain. Uh, and, and certainly that is uh, something that happens to uh, a lot of patients. Probably 70% of all patients have pain at some point in the course of the disease. There's, um, there's, there's another symptom, though, that takes people by surprise, and in many cases is even more disabling, and that would be fatigue. Fatigue has a, um, a, a definition that's pretty much um, uh, accepted uh, among researchers in the literature. It's a profound sense of being uh, tired or exhausted, and that interferes with being able to carry out daily activities. There are similarities and differences between cancer-related fatigue and, and just the sense of being tired. Um, that, that someone might feel at the end of a long day or after a workout or uh, something like that. It, um, the, the fatigue associated with cancer tends to be something um, that feels uh, overwhelming, that feels like you can't escape from, you can't rest out of it, uh, for example. You can't just go to sleep, wake up and, and feel, uh, feel better, feel like you've gotten through the fatigue. Uh, the fatigue associated with uh, cancer um, uh, it tends to be more, uh, more profound, uh, more disabling, and uh, it truly interferes with the way that people live their normal lives. When we do an assessment, we, we look at um, the, the broad range of things that could be involved in creating fatigue in anyone. So, uh, for example, we'd look to see whether or not a patient is anemic. Do they have an infection? Um, what's their nutritional status? Has there been a recent weight gain or weight, weight, uh, weight loss? What's their sleep pattern like? Are they depressed? Um, is there a lot of anxiety? Um, what's the, uh, the daily activity like? What are the requirements of their family or, or, or work setting? Um, is there pain? Pain means a lots of different things to, uh, to people with cancer. Um, and actually, very often, it's related to the treatment rather than to the disease itself. There are a number of pain syndromes that are caused by treatment itself, and some of these are prolonged. Uh, so, for example, uh, surgery is, is very commonly used as a treatment for cancer. Uh, chemotherapy and radiation therapy are the other most common uh, treatments. All three of those can cause pain. And uh, when they cause uh, neuropathic pain, that can be prolonged literally over years, long after the disease is, is, uh, is cured, has disappeared. So they're, li they're living with that effect of the cancer even though they no longer have the cancer. The interventions for that kind of pain are similar to um, those for other kinds of pain. So um, there are medication, distraction, uh, behavioral cognitive um, interventions, uh, uh, counseling about coping with pain, um, how to uh, change your activity or, or uh, lifestyle, uh, physical therapy, um, supportive garments. Uh, it clearly depends on where this pain is, how much um, disability is involved, what the level of discomfort is, what the patient's tolerance for medication is. One of the things that we, we find through research is that there are um, a variety of barriers to getting adequate care for uh, the variety of, uh, of symptoms and experiences that go along with cancer. One of those barriers is the patient's um, reluctance to uh, communicate openly with the clinician about what it is that they are experiencing. So uh, some patients, for example, won't, don't want to be seen as a, as a complainer, don't want to whine about their pain or their fatigue or their nausea or whatever it happens to be. Um, some symptoms seem more acceptable than others. Pain is an acceptable symptom. I'm allowed to talk about pain. There's less of a, of a negative um, uh, uh, impact if I talk about pain than if I talk about fatigue, which is just to it or is more disabling, but it's really harder to describe, um, um, uh, harder to communicate what the impact is. Patients just need to um, recognize that it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to talk about those things. Um, cancer is a, um, uh, is, a, is a whole person experience. It's not unusual for, uh, for, um, uh, for patients to be experiencing the things that I am experiencing right now. And um, I'm not alone in this. And uh, uh, it's important 
to deal with all of the symptoms and not just the ones that are most prevalent or most obvious.